Hey, it's Abe Fallop of Flavors of New York. I'm super excited today. We're in Elmhurst, Queens, Queens Boulevard, about to check out Indo Java Market. We're meeting a really special lady in the back who's an Indonesian chef, and she's about to offer some very unique flavors to us. Come with me. We're at Indo Java right now on Queens Boulevard. Checking out this incredible looking store. There's a kitchen, there's a lot going on, and unbelievable both ingredients. Hey, that smells unbelievable. What are you eating? Nasi udo. Chicken beef. Beautiful. That's a lunch right there. Okay, so there are products here seasonings and and things that you likely can't find anywhere else not only in New York but just on the planet um, the most unique flavors I have seen including already packaged and ready-made things for you to take uh, just totally soaking all of this in right now most of it I can't even read or tell you what it is at this point but I'm excited to try it And I have to say, this is one of the most exciting moments of food and New York that I've that I've been a part of so far. It's my honor. Thank you so much. You. All right. So today that I made it like a, this is like a coconut rice. It's like very uh, rich and tasty, mm -hmm. and then comes with a little, a little bit like a, the shredded egg, and then the the beef, the fried chicken, the noodle and potato chips, also the peanut sauce. It's gonna be very amazing. It looks and smells amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, first, I'm gonna try just a little bit of the rice with this sauce so I can get a taste of the flavor by itself. There's a peanut sauce in here like you have never, ever seen. So rich. And then for the chicken. Absolutely delicious. And the flavor is not your typical fried chicken, I have to say. Now for a taste of the rice noodle. It's magical. It's so light. Sorry, we're gonna just pause for a second. We gotta get out of the way. Yes. Yeah. I can't wait though, so I'm gonna pick the plate up and eat while I'm standing. All right. So the beef. Can explain. Yeah. Everything is so fresh and rich and like like overflowing with flavor, but also not knocking me out in such a way that it's like wow, it's just delicious. Fried tofu, absolutely. That will get you to eat tofu on purpose. I swear to God. Now we tell me about your background. I understand you're a chef. And, and tell me a little bit about this place. Okay, so the first of all, uh, I learned a uh, cook from my mom. So I don't have real the education, uh, the culinary uh, background uh, school. Mm -hmm. And then, so long time ago, I have a restaurant. At the time, I learned how to cook the real, be uh, like a chef. Mm. So at the time it takes it took like a eight eight years, mm. and then finally uh, I'm here right now uh, with a small kitchen <laughs> in the New York. Mm -hmm. So um, it's already like a five years here. Wow. Yeah. So you really learned by doing, and right, and in the small kitchen, right, unbelievably large flavors. Thank you. I understand mm. you also. Uh, have an enormous market of offerings yeah. and ingredients here <laughs> yep. and you also sell some things of other folks in the neighborhood other chefs sure. friends or family yeah so we we gathering together we I mean like uh, we have support each other actually uh, during the pandemic uh, when the income is very less so we, we support mom if they have like a skill, like a, a little bit like a cook, how we want to like um, make a little bit money. So just like a one kind of a food, 
so I will like let them cook. So you you have this tiny space, but you still yeah. were able to share it with yeah, everyone sure. you could. It sure, sounds like sure. during the, one of the hardest times. Right, right. Unbelievable. Thank you. Generous. How did you get this table? And is there a <laughs> line for this one table? Sometimes, yeah. Mm. Yes. Sometimes there is. It's, and it's like first come, first serve. Sometimes I'll call ahead. Yes. And then once in a while I'll come. This will be full, and then I sit over there. And Amazing. then once I've come, and this and this were full. And I ate by the bathroom, and it was the greatest VIP experience of my life, <laughs> just is, next to the chef. This is when you know there is something special about the food and this marketplace. Look yeah. at this environment. How did you find this place initially? A, a, a friend of a friend let me know about it, I think maybe right when she had started four or five years ago. Okay. So I started coming then, and then I don't know when it happened, maybe when I was a self-appointed customer month, but it became like a... <laughs> a necessity, a ritual to come here every Tuesday. Uh, I can't miss it. Love it. It's it's a different dish every time. Yes. We did a, a, like a month on a motorcycle in Indonesia this past winter, and it reminds us in every possible way of like a roadside war room, like a little restaurant, pulling over, cram seating, surrounded by like products. It's as authentic an experience and food as you'll ever find. Tom and Elena are uniquely qualified <laughs> They're uniquely qualified to tell you exactly what's happening here today. So, I can't wait. Dewi, when are meals served here? I do Tuesday only because like a once a week. So that's why we call like a warung selasa. Warung is mean like a pop-up because it's like a once mm -hmm. a week. Selasa is mean Tuesday. Okay. So like a so Tuesday So pop-up restaurant on Tuesdays. Yep, right, right. Dewi, I want to thank you so much for sharing this small space with absolutely enormous flavors. Please make sure to come to Indo Java. It is Tuesday when you want to come for the pop-up restaurant piece or any other day for all of we have going on here in the market. Thank you so much. My pleasure. For Flavors of New York, Abe Fallick. We'll see you next time.